Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. We are in Louisville, Kentucky still, and I am at Melwood Antiques and Interiors. This looks like an enormous building. Let's see how much time it takes me to get through it. Wish me luck. We have a really nice piece of Czech glass here. Yellow is my favorite color, but uh, for 75, I think I will leave it. Oh, this is the bad thing about cases. Sometimes the tag is turned just enough to where I can't read it. Yeah, I'm not going to get in here to look at the price either. It's probably too expensive. Do you have anything that you collect? Uh, 118th scale die cast metal cars. Oh, very specific. Cup holders. I have those, but apparently people who ask them broke them a lot. Yeah. All of these cases, all of the crystal, all of the lamps, they are all owned by one woman, and she's marked everything 25% off. So, yeah, let's see if we can find anything worth taking home. <laughs> this jug is like, really? Dude, I just got out of the shower. What are you doing with a camera? So, $3.95 with 25% off. It's around $300, so I don't know. Here's another case that's on sale, 20% off. It's got some unique items. I might have to uh, get in there and take a closer look. We'll see. This jar over here I saw is pretty neat. The colors on it are awesome. Yellow and orange, striking, retro look. 145 with 25% off. Sasaki, I think that's uh, contemporary back over in this woman's section and I see a piece of Let's Glass for $2.95 with 25% off. So that's roughly like 60 bucks. I'd make it around just under $2.50. It's a nice piece. I like the color. Um, I think I'll leave it for that price. I did just pick up a piece of Let's in New York. I really like the look of what's going on over here. All the swag lamps and lighting and just kind of open concept. Sorry about the quick turn. Yeah. Lots of art. I imagine we'll find some really cool pieces in here. Hey, if you're in the need and, for an uh, oversized perfume bottle, I know a place. Just this saying. This place seems pretty fancy. Is this like one There's of the There's a few ends? of them. Like There's some more on the other side, too. Here. Like I said, lots of artist. art. Interesting stuff. Kind of looks uh, familiar. I don't know why. I don't... I can't read that. And I was shown upstairs, well, up the ramp to the train room. This kind of reminds me of uh, Mr. Rogers. For some reason, Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. Trolley and all the characters. Now we're kind of over on the other side of the register, on the other side of the building. And we've got a little paperweight over here. Well, not little. It's actually quite large. It's kind of egg-shaped. It's got a really cool bubble trap in there. Well, a couple bubble traps, but the middle donut's fun. A little, like, swirly spiral around the outside. I can't recognize the maker. I think it was marked, like, 45 bucks. Wow, look at this dog. 135 Okay. You're special. Why? What's it say underneath? Oh, you're Italian. Italian spaghetti dog. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess that's a uh, crossover. Look at this gnarly devil head. I wonder what that was to originally. Very interesting. Next booth over from the devil head, there's this huge, like, shrub made out of what looks to be lucite. This says large high-end floral chandelier lucite leaves, and it works. $595. That thing's massive. And amongst this derby art over here, there's a uh, like a nude sketch in chalk or pastel that I want to take a look at. It looks like it's kind of important and well done. It looks like it says it's done by M.A. Hadley, a third-generation master potter. And uh, she did it while she was an undergrad in 1936 at Columbia in New York. So that's pretty interesting. I don't know if she was local to here or something. 
25% off in this case. Let's scroll down. I want to take a closer look at this paperweight. It says artist signed $145. I'm willing to bet that it's Robert Eicholt. It's pretty cool looking. There's some good stores in Cleveland. Yeah, I had some luck in Cleveland. a good one you do blanco too then i do I you do, do all glass i do mainly american or european or i get into italian i get into millie elephant glass place right in downtown louisville yeah they have a lot of glass artists there with their works some of it's really beautiful yeah, I mean, if it's artist, if it's studio art glass, that's what these are. I do like that. Um, but yeah, like kind of mass-produced contemporary stuff, I'm not really into. But... No, these are not mass-produced. It's called Flame Run. If you have the time. Flame Run. Okay. Ooh, I have one of these. I have the one on the right in my bathroom right now, but it's clear. I haven't seen them in green. These glasses up here are fun. They kind of look like Bakelite. Uh, yeah, nifty. There's a neat little Italian paperweight with some Millies on top. That's fun. Wow, look at these funky candlesticks. It says uh, hand-blown Venetian, 400 for the pair. Wow. This case looks like it has some interesting glass. It has... A piece for 125 it looks like it has some argento swirls in there and then this piece is robert eichold i can't tell if that's 345 or 545 it might be a three it's pretty nice pretty nice size I'm not familiar with these other forms and then uh this is robert eichold as well and is that 425 i think so i like the color on that one though more so than the first one. It's a little bit more striking. Large piece down here. Check out this guy's expression. He's having a good time. Folk art face jug, dated 75 or 95. Coulter, 95 bucks. This big chunky piece of glass back, oh, it's a vase. And it says celery green. I like that descriptive word. 40 bucks, that's not bad. This piece looks really fancy. It's a nude young woman stretching after a nap. 850 by Paul Philippe. Yeah. I like that. Maybe one day I'll own something like that. I wanted to give you a better look at these bottles. They're just enormous. I've never seen perfume bottles that big. All right, let's take a walk along this aisle. I'm gonna try to not turn too quickly here. Gotta make some good time. I still have some other places to go today and apparently on the other side of this wall there's like a thrift explosion. So it's gonna take some time for me to get through it. These look like they're trying to be Italian. God, check out this massive painting. It's so well done. I mean, it looks like we're looking into another room in the past. 14 grand, almost 15. Original artist, John Singer Sargent, 1882. Wow. Got some really cool chairs down there. That's what kind of drew me over here. Let's see what's in this booth on the other side. Looks like they have lots of funky stuff. I like those Popeye prints back there. Yeah, this is a really neat place. Check out this cat lady. This print is really, really cool. It's kind of expensive at 295 bucks. I'm gonna leave it, but at a hundred bucks, I'd probably take it home. You know how I like my pen holders. I've been looking for one of these coily ones that stands out to me. 
Um, it's not a not a bad price. It's actually pretty fair for both of these. They're both well done. Um, I don't know. The one I got right now is really good, though. We got some big old stacks of rugs over here, and it looks like a bunk, bunch of funky patterns. Oh, we got a dog. What is that, like some kind of German Shepherd or something? Oh, it looks like we got some leopards. So, it's, Oh, no, that's a, that's a dog. That's a puppy. Some geometric patterns. This squiggly one's real fun. I, I like that one a lot. That's a big old dog. What's that? That's a dog. Oh, we, we got some jungle animals under there. Zebra. Is there a dolphin? That's a dolphin, I think. Crocodile. Tiger. I need to put this phone down. Hold on a second. I gotta shift this stuff around. Bear with me. I'm coming back. Tiger. They're not cheap. So I probably won't be taking one home. I just wanted to show you guys. They're pretty cool. All right. This booth is right up my alley. All right. So we've got a, like a Herman Miller chair there, fiberglass chair. We've got some abalone and agate. It looks like agate end tables in either lucite or resin those are really fun and kind of gaudy 600 bucks on this chair my favorite color though look at those feet surfboard table in the same matching abalone and agate that uh that painting is really well done that bright green background is super fun what else we got that tv Wow. It's so well curated. The leopard. I love everything in this booth. I'm not going to lie. It's great. I'm over in a random nook, just seeing what we can see, see if we stumble across something fancy. And that looks heavy and fancy. 115 bucks, War Force Bull. Yeah, why isn't this in a case? <laughs> Of all the things that we got into cases to look at, like, this thing is heavy and huge, and, like, people, I imagine, could just, like, drop something on this or drop this itself and chip it, but whatever. I'm just looking for a signature here. Uh, I know it's there. I'm just trying to read it, see if there's anything fun. But, yeah, that's a cool piece to stumble across. I'll leave it, but nice. Okay, onward and upward, we are going to go over to the... Uh kind of thrift explosion area like I was telling you about earlier. Just like a big mishmash of stuff. All right, so it looks like we got a pretty nice art wall here, like a nice selection of different styles and time periods. Prints, originals, things of that nature. But I did see one over here that I want to take a closer look at. I don't know if this is, it looks like it's a silk screen, but it is a Matisse nude. 325. I feel like that's probably pretty good. I'm going to have to do some uh, online research, like comps, things like that. But I might have to take that home. That's really interesting. There's some awesome lighting in this booth. That swag lamp is killer. Great paintings, cool furniture. Look at this big old chandelier over here that's got big old chunks of Dalva Bear, what it looks like. Mosaic. What's it say? Three ninety-five. Can be yours. Look at this gnarly sculpture. Four ninety-five ceramic. Wow. It's huge. So we have a Blanco 384 in a really nice green color and only 32 bucks, but I see this crimp along the top lip on both sides and it makes me think it's a second quality piece. So I'm gonna pass. Okay, now welcome to the thrift explosion. Oh, there's a Ross Perot sign. Um, yeah, so there's gonna be a lot for us to look through in here. We'll see. We have a life-size aerial statue. What else we got in here? Fall City Beer. That's pretty cool. Big old shoe. 
Got some uh, Dias de los Muertos. Purple nude up there in the corner. Lots of nudes in this place. What else we got over here? Looks like a bunch of lamps. Holy moly. Uh, what's up with this vase? Italy, Majolka. Oh, you got a big chunk missing out of you, though. Dang it, you were kind of cool. All right, not too bad. Spent a couple hundred bucks in there. Could have spent a lot more, obviously. You saw all the fancy stuff in there. But uh, yeah, not too bad of a trip. That's similar to Midland in Indianapolis, where I have my showcase. So yeah, if you guys are in the Louisville, Louisville area and looking for high-end antiques, come check it out. Uh, thanks for joining. I've got one more spot to check out today in Louisville, and uh, I think you guys are going to like it. So stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks. See you next time.